Achievement of atomic spin polarization. Consider a substance which contains magnetic atoms having a spin one half and a magnetic moment mu zero. Since this moment is due to an unpaired electron, it's of the order of a Bohr magneton, which is 10 to minus 23 joules per tesla. In order to do scattering experiments from atoms whose spins are preferentially polarized in a given direction, one can apply a large magnetic field B and cool the substance to a sufficiently low absolute temperature to achieve appreciable polarization. So this is cooling in field. So cool the substance in a large magnetic field. The largest magnetic field which can conveniently be produced in the laboratory is about 5 tesla. Uh, find the absolute temperature T which must be attained so that the number of atomic moments uh, pointing parallel to the field is at least three times as those pointing in the opposite direction. Express your answer in terms of T over TR. So uh, we have the magnetic moment mu zero is of the order of a Bohr magneton, which is 10 to minus 23 joules per tesla. Uh, we are cooling, we are applying a large magnetic field uh, B and uh, temperature goes down. We cool it uh, in, the, in this B field. B is approximately five tesla in the laboratory. That's the maximum we can apply. And we would like to know the ratio of the, uh, if given that the ratio of up moments, uh, number of up moments divided by number of down moments is 3, what is the temperature divided by uh, the room temperature? Okay, so uh, the plus state, so magnetic field is pointing up and the probability of a spin pointing up, probability of a plus, is the number of accessible states when it points up divided by the total number of accessible states due to equal uh, a priori probabilities. And this is basically a constant C times the number of accessible states when I have the spin pointing up, which is uh, C times e to the minus beta uh, times the energy corresponding to this uh, configuration and that is C times e to the minus C is a constant which is 1 over omega total e to the minus beta the energy of a spin when it points uh, of a magnetic moment rather when it points up is minus uh, mu zero b so this uh, is C times e to the beta mu zero b. So it's proportional to e to the beta mu zero b. Uh, probability of a spin pointing down p minus is the number of accessible states when it points down omega minus divided by omega total and that is again a constant c times omega minus this constant is 1 over omega total the same constant it is c times e to the minus beta when it points down its energy which is c times e to the minus beta mu zero b so in order to have probability of up to probability of down equal to 3 e to the beta mu zero b divided by e to the minus beta mu zero b, which is e to the two beta mu zero b should be three. Because remember that the average number of up spins, up moments is the total number of moments times probability of being up and average number of down moments will be total number of moments times the probability of pointing down. So. Uh, we're using this uh, relationship and n, n bar divided by n prime bar is expected to be 3 uh, n number of up 
moments and prime number of down moments and p plus minus probability of up or down moments okay so uh, this tells us that um, 2 beta mu 0 b should be equal to natural logarithm of 3 which means uh, using the definition of absolute temperature 2 over kt uh, mu 0 b should be equal to natural logarithm of 3 uh, which means uh, 1 over kt or kt is equal to uh, 2 mu 0 b divided by natural logarithm of 3 now we know that kt at room temperature is 25 milli electron volts which is 25 times 10 to minus 3 times the electron charge 1.6 10 to minus 19 which is 4 times 10 to minus 21 joules so if we take the ratio uh, kt divided by kt room temperature uh, we would have um, 2 mu 0 b divided by 4 10 to minus 21 natural logarithm 3 and this will be equal to 2 For mu zero we have 10 to minus 23 joules per tesla for b we have 5 tesla for 10 to minus 21 natural logarithm 3 which is 2.2 uh, .2 times 10 to minus 2 or we can calculate the temperature it is uh, room temperature is roughly i can take this as 295 kelvin is 295 times 2.2 .2, 10 to minus 2 which is uh, 6.5 kelvin so that's the temperature uh, we should have cooled it down to uh, so we express the answer in terms of uh, the ratio so t over tr ratio is 2.2 .2, 10 to minus okay so we're uh, cooling down a substance which contains magnetic atoms uh, due to unpaired spins so the magnetic moment is of the order of a Bohr magneton 10 to minus 23 joule per tesla we cool it down in 5 tesla magnetic field and we find that the, the ratio of the up moments to the down moments is 3 so what is the temperature uh, the two uh, room temperature ratio so this which temperature did we cool it down to so the probability of up uh, moment or down moment is the number of accessible states for that scenario divided by total number of accessible states this is the postulate of equal a priori probabilities which gives us uh, c times e to the minus beta e plus and c times e to the bind beta minus beta e, e e minus for p plus and p minus probability of up and down moments uh, and the ratio gives us e to the 2 beta mu 0 b which should be 3 because the number of average number of up moments to average number of down moments would be the ratio p plus over p minus uh, the actual number is given by total number of uh, total number of uh, spins multiplied by probabilities so um, 2 beta mu 0 b should be nm3 so by substituting the values and uh, considering that the room temperature kt values 25 mil electron volts 
we find that the ratio should be 2.2 10 to minus 2 or the temperature that we need to reach is 6.5 Kelvin.